In this video, I'm going to show you how to install ADAPT locally. The older version of ADAPT is a little bit hard to install locally because the database is big. The newer version, we break up the databases by different species. So we also rewrite uh, Shiny App as our package. Everything is much easier now. We're going to follow the instructions on the GitHub page of ADAPT. You can install our ADAPT 1.1 either as our package, which requires you to install all the dependencies or 300 dependent. Could take a while and it's also a little bit tricky on Linux and Mac uh, operating systems. Uh, alternatively, we can use Docker image to pull the uh, pre-configured, pre-installed uh, Docker image from Docker Hub. So we are going to follow that route first. So the first step, we were going to install Docker Desktop on Windows. Uh, so follow instructions here, I'm going to download this. And we double click this once, once it's done. It's configuration, whether I want to use the OK and start the installing process. Finished, uh, and I'll close that. OK, the second step, we are going to st start Windows PowerShell as an administrator. So we tie up here. PowerShell and run as administrator. This is important. So run as administrator. So we have a PowerShell window uh, showed up. Windows subsystem for Linux. So open this in a new tab. Follow these steps. Copy this code. Come here. Paste. Run. Finished. Check if we have the requirements. I think we are fine. Enable virtual machine features. So paste. Completed. So we download the Linux kernel and it's installed MSI file. So double click this, install, finished. And the next step, WSL2 is a default. So copy this, come to here and paste, finished. Install Linux distribution, Microsoft Store. So open a Microsoft Store, store. The store is open, so we search Ubuntu, get, open. The first time, so enter Unix username. So that's all, that's finished. So we already done that. So start a Docker app. So we want to see Docker run as administrator. The first time it asked for permission, accept and skip this. Container is running. Now we are ready to pull the Docker image from Docker Hub and then start a Docker container. So we come here and copy this one line of code, um, come to the PowerShell, paste this command, and hit enter. So this will do two things. Firstly, the image is pulled, is downloaded from Docker Hub, and secondly, using this image, a container is started. And then you can see the container is started, and it's serving that port. Browser window, so local host, uh, localhost 3038 and we are trying to bring up on um, the adapt the first time it takes a, a, a couple of seconds to yeah to load up and downloading the database is automatically download uh, by itself welcome okay and then you can select the species organism after you select an organism the database for that organism is downloaded this might take a few minutes too species database is downloaded and now you can load data or choose i'm choosing the mouse data corresponding to this it's loaded docker container will be running in the background even if you close the barber shell windows the docker engine is still running in the background to stop this you have to come back to the powershell and run these two lines of code so stop and and, and delete the container first uh, after this so the docker is stopped to restart you can always come here this is also what you need to do if you have been running this for a while and you want to pull the most recent docker image from docker hub Another method of installing ADAPT is on Windows is to just install it as an R package. Follow the steps in here. Make sure you have the most recent version of R. Um, um, it is version 3.30. We're going to start R Studio. Okay, R Studio is started. Um, the, I will recommend that you start a new project and a new directory, new project. Say ADAPT local. As you can see, I installed in this directory. I will work and adapt local. That's the folder I'm going to come up and double click this adapt project file. You can continue on. So first we install the dev tools package. 
is our DevTools package. So it's finished. So DevTools install GitHub. So we're going to paste in here and uh, and get started to install. This process though it takes a long time. Run app. And to do this, we'll, we'll start app. And then finally is another method of using app um, by first copy the source code from GitHub. So this is the de developer mode that enables you to customize and change the code. So you come here, uh, you come to adapt the home page. First, we need to get a copy of the code. And uh, either if you use GitHub de desktop, you can use this URL to, to clone, but it, it also, you can also just download a zip file. So you can see this is the download zip file and I paste everything, paste the file, I unzip here. After unzipping here, you can see all the files are here. And from here, all you need to do is to figure out a way to to run this app. This is a lot of uh, scripts. You can double click this R project file. Uh, so to run this, um, go to the dev folder and then open up this run dev uh, folder. And then you can select all of this code and run. So this is the third method. The nice thing about this is that you can come back, come here and look at the source code and change them. Theoretically, you can change that. Okay, so that's the de developer mode for Windows.